I don't know whether you two have ever met, have you? Yes, indeed we have. Uh, Leslie was here responsible for me joining the department. How are you, Colonel? I'm very well, thank you. How is Abu Tata? Very hot. Do sit down. Thank, thank you. you. I've never been in that part of the world. Interesting? Not really, not unless you're power mad or like the smell of oil. There's nothing else. Which is the reason why we're here, Hunter. Yes, sir. Colonel Leslie has been acting for the British government as political advisor to the Sultan. We have reason to believe that things could go badly wrong there any time now unless we move in quickly. Last year, the oil companies paid the Sultan over 43 millions in royalties. Ooh. And he still isn't satisfied. He's got his eye on other people's oil as well. Mm. British protectorates. Exactly. But it's a small place. What does he use for an army? Well, there are over three million people, plus a lot of underprivileged Arabs, and, of course, the Russians. Why the Russians? Ah, uh, look, we're in Abu Tafa now, looking after the Sultan's interests for him, but it hasn't been easy. If the Sultan starts to yell that we've cheated him, He'll ask the Russians to move in with one of their aid programs. It could develop into a Vietnam of the Middle East with everyone pretending to protect the Sultan. He's well able to protect himself. He's got 21,000 trained men, five medium tanks, a squadron of armored cars, and a half a dozen fighter jets. But no general. No trained military commander. Now, we're hoping to pull out in 18 months. An experienced man could have the army in cracking shape by that time. There's nothing to stop him. And he has one. Almost. He's approached a chap called Brigadier Pringle. He used to be in command of our forces in Abu Tafa some years ago. Will he accept? I'm sure he will. The Sultan pays damn well, and Pringle likes war. It's all he knows. What do we know about him, sir, that we can use? Nothing. Oh, that's a good start. <laughs> the same old section. No one ever tells anyone anything. <laughs> There's nothing to tell. Except that Pringle must be stopped. At any cost. And put him in a red file. Red file? Our coding system, sir. Anyone put in a red file can be stopped in any way the operative thinks fit, including death. Use your own judgment. Let's head over there, Mr. Kellen. Fancy a bowl of soup? What do you say, say, Mr. Kellen? It's all right, mate. You don't have to drink it. Come on. Yeah. And lovely. You don't know me, right? Good evening, Miss Pringle. Oh, good evening, Mr. Bellamy. Sir? How are you? Very well, thank you very much, Miss. Oh, I'm moving. What's your, what's your? Pringle? Why don't you just get out of the way? You've had your soup, now move it. Go on. Your name is Pringle, isn't it? Yes, it is. If you want any soup, please don't push the others. Your father, Colonel Pringle, DSOMC and Bar. Yes, that's right. What can I do for you, Mr... Callan, Dave Callan. I reckon that your father owes me a job, miss. Do you know that her father, he got me kicked out of the army, I reckon he owes me a job, right? Doing what? Yeah. Well, I mean, that's up to him, isn't it? It's all a bit tricky, see, because I've done bird five years. What did you do? Smashed open the safe, didn't I? <laughs> and before that? I was in the army. With my father? With your father, yeah. You don't know her father, just the same as her. We're always asking questions. What do you do now, Mr. Callan? I'm a bit of life's flotsam, that's what I am, Miss Pringle. Here, look. Can't you help me? Is there any reason why I should? Well, I'm skint, aren't I, thanks to your father. I mean, I can't get a job. Can't or won't. <sighs> Have you got a trade? Yeah. I've got a trade, locksmith, haven't I? Oh dear. Oh dear's right. Mm. Oh, thank you very much, miss, for your help. <laughs> Do you hear what she said? Oh, Did you hear that? I mean, you know, these bloody do-gooders, they're all the same, mate, aren't they? You want you want your real help, they can't give it. You might as well drop Mr. dead. Callan, listen to me. Come back tomorrow. I I'll see what I can do. Yeah, well, I'll see, won't I? Have you had any soup? Bad one, this, I'm afraid. We've got nothing on the man. And apart from one letter asking him to take command of the army, we've got nothing from the Sultan for weeks. Sounds difficult, sir. Well, it's a damn nuisance, particularly just now. I'm off to Moscow in a couple of days, and I wanted this one cleared up first. Moscow? I didn't know, sir. Didn't you? I should have sent you a memorandum. Sorry, sir. I didn't mean that, sir. I'm going to arrange security for the President's visit, if you can spare me. 
we'll do our very best. In any case, an old friend of yours is coming to sit in for him for a few weeks, Colonel Leslie. Colonel Leslie, sir? Yes, he's been out in Abu Tafa, which is how we know about Pringle. Have I said something funny? Uh, no, no, sir. No, not exactly funny, sir. Though uh, I could think of someone who might be frankly amused, sir. Callum, sir? Yes, well, I don't want Callum Toll while he's working on this job. No, sir, of course not, sir. Send him in. Let's hope he's got somewhere. See you now? Yes, sir. And? What's the matter with him? That's enough, Mia. I'm sorry, sir. I asked you a question, Callum. Did you get anywhere? Yes, sir. Got to give it time. She hasn't talked to her dad yet. When she does, you'll see me. Well, as you know the Brigadier so well, Callum, I'm expecting quick results. Come along, Sarah. Time we were off. Daddy, there's ours yet. Anyway, I'm not sure that I want you to come. I am a trustee, you know. I don't want any scenes. I only want to see the chap, that's all. If it's him, I may be able to help. Quite simple. Come on. Oh, hello, miss. Could you... I mean, you know, were you able... Callum? Colonel? Oh, I've been promoted, Callum. I was a brigadier before I retired. Congratulations, sir. Thank you. You've been doing pretty well for yourself, too, I hear? Well, I'm not in the army, anyway. Prefer prison, do you? Did you have to tell him that? I won't go any further, Callum. Thanks. How the devil did you get into this mess? We had a lot of excitement, didn't we, out in the jungle? Then you got me chucked out. I suppose I missed it. You still steal? Oh, Father, please! Be quiet, sir. I know what I'm doing. Do you? No, I don't. You're sure? If I stole, mate, I wouldn't be standing here, would I? <laughs> You're still as arrogant as ever, anyway. Want a job? Doing what? Looking after my house, sir. Serving a table, cleaning up. Yeah, well, I wouldn't be any good as a Batman, would I? No, I'd be the judge of that. Get yourself cleaned up, get some decent clothes, and report to my house tomorrow morning. Address is on the card. Ask for my cook, Mrs. Carr. Sir. Off you go. And don't get drunk. Sir. Thank you, Father. He must have been a very good soldier. Well, it depends what you mean by a soldier. He was brave enough, certainly, but far too much of an individualist for the army. He always questioned orders, went his own way. That's why he stayed a private. I made him up to corporal twice, and I broke him twice. Finally, I got him chucked out. Well, why do you bother now? My dear, an army is merely a device for killing the enemy. And as a killer, Callan was unequal. This isn't the job for a healthy young fella like you. Well, that's all I can get, isn't it? What well, chap your age? Don't seem natural. Orbears now. Who? Orbears. Chap who had the job before you. Oh, he used to love it. Yes, sir. No, sir. Please let me lie down while you walk on me, sir. Uh, he used to know him. Oh? Huh? Where? In the army. He was my sergeant. Mm -hmm. What do you make of him? Not much. Mm. Fighting. Always on about fighting. You ever done any? Yeah. Hmm? Where? Malaya. You want to talk about it? No. Oh, then you and me will get on all right. 
No peace in service, son. I think you'll be able to stand it. Well, it's better than starving, isn't it? <laughs> you tell me that next week. Yeah. Uh, yes, Callan. I wanted a word with you. Settled in all right? Yeah, all right. Quarters suit you? Very nice. Very nice, sir. Very nice, sir. Sorry, sir. I'm uh, not used to it. No, it wouldn't take long. You were the worst soldier I ever saw. But you liked Malaya, didn't you? Always like a bit of travel, sir. You know what I mean. Will that be all, sir? Yes, that's all. For now. Very good, sir. Dr. Madonna, please. Oh, Madonna, Springle here. Huh? I rather wanted a word with you, old man. Yes, I realize that, but this is important. I want to see you now. This afternoon? Yes, it's all right. Thank you. Callum. Yes, miss? You were listening. Oh, no, no, I miss. I saw you. I want to talk to you. Yes, miss. <laughs> It's mine, isn't it, miss? You were listening. I saw you. All right, so tell him. Let him fire me. Oh, Callan, it isn't that. You know it isn't. I want to know why. Oh, look, miss. I mean, it was only eavesdropping. I mean, it's only natural, and it's like telling lies. Callan, please. All right. Why'd your father give me this job? He hates my guts anyway. He knows I've never done this sort of thing in my life. He wanted to help you. Why? Because you needed help. And charity's no good to you. You need a job, independence. I could tell that the moment I first talked to you. You should be grateful to him, not spying on him. Oh, miss, I wasn't spying on him. It's just that where I've been, you don't trust anybody. I mean, you daren't. Do you honestly think my father's like that? No, miss, no, not, not anymore. But, I mean, why, you know, why don't he tell me things? What? Well, why don't he tell me things like you tell me? Well, my father's not very good with words. You should know that, Callan. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry, miss. I'm very sorry. Well, if you really mean that, we'll forget it. Now, go and put the car away for me, will you? Yeah, that'd be a pleasure, miss. Bad, Callan. Not bad at all. Thank you, sir. Like your job, do you? Yes, sir. You're a liar. It's the best I can offer you just at the moment. Tell me, Callan, uh, if I could offer you something a little more exciting, would you take it? Uh, doing what, sir? The only thing you're any good at, soldiering. Well, I thought you said that I was the worst soldier you ever saw, sir. In peace time, yes. Oh, yeah. You're going to fight a war, sir? I may be. I'd like you to join me. Think it over. Yes, sir. Brigadier Pringle's residence. Oh, would you hold the line, sir? General Klinger, sir. Oh. All right, Callan, you can go. Sir. Sir? How are you? <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh, that's marvellous. Yes, yes, of course we must meet. Yes. <laughs> oh, Callan. Yes, miss. Oh, allow me, miss. Oh, thank you. Have you seen my father? Oh, yes, miss. He's up in his room. It's uh, a General Klinger just telephoned. Klinger? Is yes, he, miss. Is he here in America? 
Well, really, no idea, miss. Uh, I could uh, endeavour to ascertain, should you so require. No, no, thank you, Callum. Right, miss. Oh, by the way. Miss? It's not too bad, but you're overdoing it. <laughs> yeah, well, it's bloody hard work. Miss. Oh, sir, have your moment, please. Oh, sorry, Daddy, I'm due to meeting. Yes, I can keep. Sorry, they'll be waiting for me. I'm waiting for you. I do wish you'd try to be a little more cooperative, sir. After all, you are my daughter. Daddy, we've been through all this. Of course, I realise that those drunken, idle, good-for-nothings mean far more to you than I do. Daddy, but please. I am your father. Yes? Oh, God. Why do we always have to get off on the wrong foot like this? Help me, Sarah, please. Thank you. Now, the Sultan's still pressing me to join his staff. As a general? Yes, well, they'd call me an advisor until independence, and after that I'd be commander-in-chief. He's offering 20,000 a year, and an estate, a palace. You'll be a princess. Oh, Daddy. Have I said something funny? Yes, of course you have. A princess. Daddy, look at me. Can you see me lying on a heap of cushions, eating Turkish delight? You know I didn't doing mean Doing the dance like of the that. seven veils. Sir, stop it! I don't belong in the Arabian Nights, Daddy. Where, then? The annual report of the Prisoners' Aid Society? Why not? I can be of some use there. I need you with me. You've never needed anybody. Not Mummy and not me. I can still do it, Sarah, but not on my own. You mean that? Yes. How bloody selfish. You're my daughter. You're all I've got. But that's what my drunken idle good-for-nothing say, too. You're all I've got, miss. If it wasn't for you, I'd be back in the nick right this minute. Well, is that what you want me to do? Put them back in the nick? They're nothing, those people. They're scum. Exactly. But they need me. Damn it, I need you! I'll go on my own, then. You see? You don't need me at all. Please, Sarah. Please. Very well. Very well. I have a guest coming for dinner. It'll be a business meeting. Very boring. I think it'd be best if, if you went out. General Klinger. Who told you that? Callum said he phoned. I asked him. Very well. I'll eat out. By the way, what are you going to do with Callum when you go to Abu Tafa? I'll take him with me. As a Batman? I'll find a use for him. Machine. You want a bit on a certainty? Yeah. What's that? Oh, that's a very good key. That is, that's nice. Yeah. I know it's a good key. What's it for? A safe deposit. You got any idea where? Oh, that could be a lot of places, Mr. Cannon. That's the truth, Mr. Cannon. Honest. All right. I'll tell you what you do. Belongs to a geezer called Brigadier Fingal. I want you to follow him. I want to find out where he keeps his safe deposit. What for, Mr. Cannon? Money. Oh, well, in that case, you're on. Just one thing, Mr. Cannon. No more rough stuff. It makes me nervous. Yeah, I know. I can smell that. You want another up tip? Yeah? Two bob. Turkish bath. You'll clean up. Well, you are remarkably healthy, Brigadier. I'm fine, Majali, I told you. But for the next few days, you are not well at all. You understand? Otherwise, I cannot come here and talk to you. So, have you made up your mind? Yes, I'll go. And your daughter? No, no, she stays here. It will be better this way. You will see. Women have no place in a war. Loosen your shirt, please. I'm all right, Doctor. But the Sultan wishes to be sure. Now breathe in. Again. Good. Again. Good. Thank you, Doctor. Well, so General Klinger is here? 
Oh, I am a spy after all, Brigadier. Not in my house, I hope. No, no, no. There are other ways. You have seen him? He phoned. He's having dinner with me. Excellent. Wouldn't you say so? You're the spy, Majali, not me. And you are a soldier on active service. It is your duty to collect information. And Klinger knows very well the American plans for the Middle East. Those plans would be of great value. I know. Also, he drinks a great deal, and you do not. Besides, he's a friend of yours. He admires you. He trusts you. I thought you chaps believed a guest was sacred. <laughs> we did in our primitive days. But since then, Europe has taught us so much. Believe me, Brigadier, we are very grateful. Now this, for instance. What is it? A little help in your problem with Klinger. Taken with alcohol, it makes one very truthful indeed. Use it, please. Very well. <laughs> One moment, Brigadier. I have something else for you. A little prescription. This is a mild sedative for you, Brigadier, just in case you need it after your dinner party. Now it's American generals. His nibs just ordered curry. Perhaps he likes curry. He does. What is hell? <laughs> I only hope the Yank does. Oh, and he wants you to put the hawk on ice. Right. Two bottles. Yeah, yeah. And dry martinis. You'll have to carry the Yank home. Yeah, well, I'll get him a taxi, won't I? Oh, you better take that lot to the dining room. All right, I'll go. Um, Mr. Callan, please. Callan? Yes, I've got this radio of his that I promised I'd bring back for him. Oh, oh well, it won't be a minute. I suppose you'd better come in, Thank only you. we're very busy. Thanks very much. Did you say it was a radio? Yes, I... Uh, well, I was trying to flog it for him, you know, he's short of a few bob and oh. I thought... Uh, you want a cup of tea? Oh, that'd be lovely. I, I don't want to put you to any trouble. Oh, it's all right. Might as well sit down. It'll only be a minute. Thanks. <laughs> oh, you're all laid up, then. No, no, I'll do it later, love. Oh, yeah. I've got to have a sit down. Hello, Toe. Uh, Hello, Dave. <laughs> well, what's that, then? It's that radio you wanted me to flog. Oh, yeah. I had a buyer for it. You let me down. Uh, I thought you'd uh, better have it back. Yeah, right. Well, Tom. You don't want to leave it too long. It takes longer than you think, you know, if you're going to lay proper. Yeah, all right. I'll do it in a minute, love. Now, you want to start from the outside and you work in. You want your soup spoon first, then your fish. Yeah, all bar, right. And... All right, Mrs. Carr. Give me a breather, love, will you? Uh, oh, I shouldn't bother with it, love. It's, uh, it doesn't sound right, actually, Dave. Shouldn't be surprised if it needs a uh, new battery. It's worth having a look at. New battery, yeah, right. I'll take it up and have a look at it. Mm, I was looking forward to a nice bit of music. Yeah, well, some other time. I, mean, I don't want to get messed up, though, you know, covered in curry powder. Well, I suppose I'd better be off. You hang on. I'll be done in a minute. All right, not too long, though, eh? Because uh, I've got a day. Right. Well, finish me tea. No, not me, love. I'm, uh, I'm in second-hand motors. Matter of fact, I've got something that would just suit you. Oh, have you indeed. Cheeky. Yes? Hello, Joan. It's Sarah. Sarah, how are you? I'm fine. Listen, ask me to supper, can you? Daddy's having a visitor and I'm in the way. Must it be tonight? Yes, I'm afraid it must. Oh, say no if it's a news. No, it's only my hair. It can wait. Of course, come round. Thanks. I don't know what we've got. Probably bangers. Oh, that's lovely. I'll bring a bottle. See you about seven, OK? Fine. Bye-bye. Bye. Is it working? Perfectly. Miss Pringle is going out for supper. <laughs> I absolutely riveting. Oh, 
I uh, saw Charlie the other day. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he was uh, asking for you. Hey, I'm afraid you'll have to get rid of your friend, Dave. Oh, I'm sorry, love. I mind the way. You should have said something. It's all right, only we do have this party coming to dinner, and the Brigadier gets very fussy if everything isn't ready on time. You know what I mean. She means this, uh, this general. He knows what I mean. He's a yank. Yank general? Yeah, a clinger or something. Clinger? Hmm. Well, I suppose I'd uh, better be off. You ever thought of making a career of that? Well, I'll see you then. Uh, thanks very much for the tea, love. See, oh, um, I'll tell Charlie I saw you. Yeah, do. I'd hate him to forget where I am. Right. Ta ra. How'd you manage to get a friend like him? those books alone for a moment. Even charities have paperwork. They're important. Important. Damn lot of layabouts. Sarah, I'm talking to you all. I have noticed, Daddy. I made up my mind. I'm going to Abu Tafa very soon. Oh, there'll be money enough to keep you here. You needn't worry about that. Oh, thanks. And uh, if you should change your mind, I'll arrange to have you flown out straight away. I am not coming. How many more times do I have to tell you? And I'm going out now. Have a nice evening playing at soldiers. You know, Sarah, sometimes you're really very stupid. You don't even begin to understand what my job's about. When you do, your opinions will be welcome. Until then, shut up. Until then, you can go to hell. Oh, go on, play at being a social worker. All right, miss. My coat, please, Callum. Yes, miss. You. you know, Callum, loving someone is the hardest thing there is. What did she say? She said loving someone is the hardest thing there is, sir. My daughter talking like that to you? Well, you asked me, I told you. You insolent bastard. Wait a minute, will you? Wait a minute. She was upset. Apparently, she loves you. I can't imagine why. Anyway, that's none of my business, is it? So when do I leave? Now or in the morning? Well, is that really what she meant? How do I know what the hell she meant? Well, then answer the damn door. And don't talk any more rubbish about leaving. And call me, sir! Thank you, Martin. Not at all. You busy, Joe? Oh, boy. Now, how about you? No. I've retired. Ah, you'll miss it. Indeed, I will. You know, there's something you could help me with, Martin. Uh, quite unofficially, of course. Oh, I'd be glad to. Thank you. Uh, we have plans about our Middle Eastern involvement. I'm sure you have. But it's hard to make decisions about some places. Now you know the area. Uh, you could help me a lot. Well, how? Well, how many troops would it take to hold down Abu Tafa, for instance? You'd do that? To keep the Russians out? Sure we would. I see. Two divisions and uh, air support. Mm -hmm. What the devil do you want? A dinner is served, sir. I don't believe it. Well, it's true, every <laughs> word of it. <laughs> uh, thank you, Martin. That was a hell of a good dinner. You're very kind, Joe. <laughs> uh, black or white, sir? A uh, coffee? Oh, no, no, I think I'll have a brandy, Callum. All right, sir. Uh, you, sir? Black for me, Callum. Yeah. And uh, let the general have the brandy. Yes, sir. Hey, hey Callum. Sir? You, uh, you ever been in the army? Oh, yes, sir. Serve with a brigadier, huh? Yes, sir. That's what I like to see. Loyalty. Thank you, sir. There we are, sir. 
Oh, thank you. All right, Callum, you can go. Yes, sir. Ah. Now, getting back to what we were saying before, Joe. Now, any Middle East policy has got to be long term. You agree on that? Oh, yeah. Well, let me explain our setup to you, mm -hmm. Martin. See, I expect we're going to be there for at least 25 years. Where's your friend and colleague, the cook? She's lucky, she's gone home. Is Klinger still here? Yes, singing his head off. Was he drunk? Drunk? He's stinking. Yeah. Oh, thank you very much. It's a pleasure. I reckon Pringle s slipped him something. Well, have you had anything? No, no, not much. Oh, Majali was here again today. Yes, and he phoned him twice this evening. Incidentally, he'll be coming round 8.30 tomorrow morning. Yeah. Pringle's told his daughter that he's definitely going. Ah, but then again, you're going to stop him, aren't you, old boy? Oh. Fussy, aren't you? Oh, yeah, 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 I'll stop him, yeah. I'll say, um, Brigadier, I'll say, uh, we really don't want you to go to Upper Topper, I'll say. Honestly, we don't. Well, there's no need to speak to him nicely. He's in a red file. Is that what Hunter really wants? Hunter also wants all the, uh, papers, letters, records. Anything you can lay your hands on. Plus, uh, whatever information that Klinger has given them. Right, mate, I know my job. I'll get it when I'm ready. You know, servants really aren't what they no, used I'm to be. I'm sorry, sir. I'm afraid I can't help you. Uh, oh, well, perhaps you can help, sir. Hmm? This gentleman is uh, looking for Crawford Gardens. Oh, yes. Um, down to the traffic lights. Uh, third left, first right. Third left, first right. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's a strange time of night to come calling. Well, she's probably a traveller or something, so you know they keep very odd hours, don't they? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Callum, uh, get General Klinger a taxi, will you, and help him into the damn thing? Yes, sir. It's a pretty good show you turned on tonight, Callum. Thank you. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Always reward good service. Yes, sir. And when you've got the general safely off the premises, you can go to bed. All oh, right, sir. Coffee tomorrow morning, 8.30. Very good, sir. All right. Good night. Good night, sir. So, the dinner party was a success? Yes. And you have the information? Yes. It's good stuff. Good. Well done, General. Brigadier, Doctor. I'm just a brigadier. In Britain, yes. But in Abu Tafa, you are a general. Indeed, your appointment came through this morning. Mm. Thank you. <clears throat> Can you accept? Of course. You realize, of course, that by doing so, you become a citizen of Abu Tafa. Yes. And your loyalty is to the Sultan. Yes. Normally, you would swear on the Holy Quran. Well, I'm C of E. If I give you my word, I think that should be enough. Uh, that is, forgive the expression, your honor. Yes. Very well. Then do I have your word? that you will serve the Sultan and obey all his commands. You do. Very well then, you will collect all your information and be ready to leave early tomorrow morning. So soon? Your security people are on to me. Soon they will reach you and we need you in Abu Tafa. We will fly out at two. We will have diplomatic immunity and we will not be searched. That's a very odd hour. And quiet. And peaceful. An hour when nobody bothers. Callum? Yes, miss? I gather you had a lot to do last night. Yes, quite a bit, miss. Was it all right? Yes, I think so, miss. Tell me, Callum, is this what you really want to do? Oh, I don't know, miss. I mean, it's a, it's a start, isn't it? Yes, but if my father asked you to go with him... Excuse me, miss. 
Brigadier Pringle's residence. Is that you, Mr. Callan? Uh, hold on a minute, will you? It's a friend of mine, Miss. Uh, do you mind if I take the call in here? Oh, no, not a bit. Thank you, Miss. Uh, we'll talk later, Callan. Very good, Miss. All right, go on. He's been to his bank, Mr. Callan. London National. Must have used the safe deposit. His briefcase just about bursting. Where else do you go, do you know? Nowhere. In the back with you. Listen, what are you doing tonight? Nothing. I was thinking of going to pictures. Right. All right, I'll call you back. Back. Yeah, yeah, he's, uh, he's just got in. <laughs> no peace at all, is there, it's son? All go, isn't it? <laughs> you rang, sir? Yes, Callum. I'm going away for a while. Oh, yes, sir. Do you wish me to accompany you, sir? Well, that depends. I shan't need a valet. But I could use a chap like you. What for, sir? To kill the enemy. Or teaching other chaps how to do it. And who would the enemy be, sir? Well, it's hard to say just at the moment. You interested? How much? You are interested. Good. I'll write to you. That's all. Oh, and by the way, shan't need you tonight. Very good, sir. <coughs> What did I tell you? Don't you know what you're doing to him? I'm letting him use the only talent he's got. It's my only talent too, you know. But not for money. I don't think it's only money with Callan either. I'm leaving tonight, Sarah. Tonight? Mm, things are hotting up. Callan will stay on as caretaker when I'm gone, if you like, until I send for him. Yes, all right. Well, I think I'll turn in for a bit, if you don't mind. What are you doing tonight? Dining in, or is it one of your soup kitchen nights? No, I'll... Uh, I'll ask Callan to bring me some coffee and sandwiches. Very well, my dear. I'll see you before I leave. Yes. Pleasure, miss. Um, would you really do what my father asked you to? Oh, I don't know, miss. I don't know, I think I, uh, think I'm a bit past it. There we are, miss. Thank you. Is that the honest? Yes, thank you. I'll say good night, Miss. Good night, thank you. In. Oh, what a lovely smell, Mr. Cat. Oh, God. Just do with a cut. Yeah, what a pity it's not for you, mate. This is evidence. All right, on your feet. Now, I want you to wait outside this door here yeah, until I come back. I won't be a minute.
in the kitchen. And keep your hands in your pockets. Good evening. Brigadier Pringle. Oh, I'm please. sorry, sir. He's not at home. I know that is not true. Well, he, uh, he doesn't wish to be disturbed, sir. He's resting. Oh, look, I am his doctor, Dr. Mijelli. It is important I see him. Uh, yes, sir. Well, I'll, uh, I'll announce you first. Very well. May I use the telephone? Oh, please, please. do, sir. مجالي بتكلم شو أمه يحضر انتظر بكلمك بعدين We wakes up, mate. We get nicked, right? Move that stuff. Right, there it is. Just like I told you. Double lock, high tensile steel, and you've got 20 minutes. Charlie? I've got a doctor here, sir. Would you like to send someone to fetch him? Why, is he too big for you, Callan? <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm about to look for the papers that you wanted, sir. I can't do every bloody thing. Mate, how you going? Oh, it's no good, Mr. Kellen. I'll have to blow this. Are you sure? Look, I can't make two keys for a thing like this in the time we got. All right, all right, honey. Look, just be as quick as possible. Keep the noise down. What about his nibs? Listen, you look after the safe, I look after the rough stuff. I don't know, sir. I, I heard this bang and, and then I saw this fella standing here. It wasn't me! Yes. Right, bring it in and move it, move it round! Go on, lonely. Scarper! Sir, Mr. Good night, Mr. Callan, and good night to you, sir. What is this, Callan? I'm taking you in. In, man? In where? Prison. You're a fool, Callan. You always were. What are you going to do when my colleagues arrive? He's already here. I made him harmless. Where's my daughter? She's all right. If you haunt her... It's all right, I said. She'll, uh, she'll have a very nasty headache in the morning, just like General Klinger. What else did you find out? Everything. And what I don't know is already in there. Listen, man. Don't be an idiot. You could be on my staff. Hard enough, sir. You'd be well paid. A damn sight better money than you can get in this country and the kind of job you like, oh, Callan. The kind of job I like, mate, didn't I? You bloody taught me how to kill. And when I got too rough, mate, you didn't like it, did you? So you got me chucked out. And I got two and a half years in the glass house. 
Well, now I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy now, you see. In security. Security? Yeah. <laughs> so that explains it. Security is a rat's world. I'm offering you the chance to fight like a man. To fight for something you believe in. Oh, I'm doing that now, sir. Why do I bother? You haven't the guts. Well, don't you try me. The Americans weren't too happy to hear about Klinger. I'm not a bit surprised. Cost him a Senate nomination, too. What have you done with Majali? Sent him back with a warning to the Sultan and rather a bad headache. Is that wise? Wise? You won't give up, you know. You'll find the Sultan another Pringle. I'd have stopped him for good. It was my decision. But he's a very dangerous man. If you'd been in charge of the operation, I suppose you'd have had him shot. Yes, I would. And Pringle's daughter, too, I suppose. If necessary, yes. Oh, rather a lot of red files. Yes, I've been saving them for you, old boy. Thank you. Have a good time. And you. Hope the Russians don't detain you. John, have us on leave. Do you know I haven't... Haven't what, Callan? What, what the hell are you doing here? Where's Hunter? He's gone to Moscow. I'm standing in for him. That's all I need. Where are you going? Me? I'm going on leave till he gets back. Leave? I hardly think so, Callan. Take your pick. All red. Of course. Of course. Everyone a prize. Oh, my God, you're back all right, mate. 